Welcome to NASA Sports Rundown. I'm Matt Fisher. And I'm Kellen Warren. This winter sports season is officially over. And today we would like to congratulate the teams and athletes that completed in postseason action. First up is NASA Wrestling. On February 15th, sectionals were held at Foxborough High School where NASA wrestlers Aiden Hanville at 182 pounds, Gabe Quaylo at 152 pounds, Ethan, Ethan Lucy at 145 pounds, and Curtis Taylor at 160 pounds, all placed in the top five and made it to states. Congratulations is also in order for Doug Bazzaro and Spencer Graylin, who both placed six at sectionals, but unfortunately did not advance to states. Faring the, the best at the states was Gabe Quaylo. The All-State Tournament took place February 21st at Wayland High School, with Quaylo winning his first round, then falling into the next two. Teammates Hanville, Lucy, and Taylor also competed, but lost their respective rounds. We are proud of their accomplishments and wish the team good luck for, next, for their next season. Next up is NASA Swim and Dive. The NASA Swim team overcame some tough obstacles this season as their home pool, Willie's, was closed only two weeks into the season. Despite this, the team trained at the Chatham Health Club in San Jose High School where they found a way to get their workouts and qualify for sectional and state action. Diver Delaney Smith competed in both championships, finishing her season with the highest points ever scored by a NASA diver. Thankfully for Smith, she trains privately in diving off cape and did not lose training time. The swimmers doing well in earning points in this postseason was Tim Johnson, John Zooks, and Caitlin Bohannon. These swimmers competed in individual events, primarily Butterfly. Joining them in Relays were Dory Carlson, Brady Alden, Talk Decker, and John Zooks. Congratulations to the Nasset swimmers. And now for girls hockey. The girls had a tremendous season with a record of 8-7-5. and five. According to the coach, Addie Weeks, last year we only had two wins, and this year we had eight. It was insane. For the first time in program history, the girls qualified for the state tournament, a milestone that was secured when the team traveled to Martha's Vineyard for the last game of the season and grabbed a much needed win in order to take the tournament. Nosset won big and even earned a shutout that day thanks to the great efforts by the entire team and goalie Connor Boucher. Despite losing to the first round in the MIA state tournament against Woburn 4 nothing. It is important to note that Woburn was Division I and NASA played Division II all season. Top goal scorer this year was Sophie Quaylo, while goalkeeper Connor Boucher was unstoppable in that. Next up is the boys basketball team. The boys basketball team was led by the four senior captains all year. The highlight of the season was senior captain Bobby Joy when he scored 1,000 career points. Despite many close losses, the team finishes the season with a strong 11-9 record. They earned the 17 seed in Division II playoffs. They traveled to Milton, which was the 16 seed. The game took place on February 25th. The game was very close through the first half with a score of NASA 22 and Milton 29. During the third quarter, Milton grew their lead to 11. The Warriors were, un were unable to come back during the fourth quarter, leading to a first round exit. The final score was NASA 47, Milton 64. Nasa worked hard all year to maintain a solid record. Now on to girls basketball. The girls basketball team had a very good year under the new coach, John Piemontese. The coaches finished with a record of 15 and seven, a, a great record considering the amount of injuries the team dealt with. The girls opened up the, their playoff run as a number nine seed and had to go on the road on their first round on, the Feb on February 26th against Dartmouth. It was a very tough game, but the girls did everything they, they had to do down the stretch to win the game. They then moved on to the, their second round matchup against Norwood. The girls were tired but still continued to play hard. Sadly, they came up short to a very good Norwood team, 57 to 33 on the road. It was a very good run, girls, especially with the injuries that riddled the team. We are very proud of you. Now on to boys indoor track. Nasset had four athletes advance onto the divi divisionals, division four divisionals, excuse me, meet held on February 15th at the Reggie Lewis Center in Boston. The four, the four athletes were Finn Riley in the two mile, Chris Pombo in the 600, Kieran in the 1000, and Richard Ramsey in the 55 meter dash and long jump. Both Riley and Pombo ran personal best at the meet, while Norton and Ramsey put up a strong performance as well. In addition, Riley set a new school record in the 5K with a time of 16-13, which he clocked at the MSTCA Winter Classic. And finally is the girls indoor track team. This was an historic year for the girls as they won their first ever Division IV championship meet. 
Despite large numbers during the regular season, only seven girls qualified for the divisionals and competed. It was these seven girls alone that captured the Division IV title. Standouts include Monique Malcolm, Christina Constantine, Izzy Nobley, Abby Farrell, Sophie Christopher, Rebecca Pranga, and Kimache Blake. Out of the seven, it was Malcolm, Constantine, Nobley, and Farrell who advanced in individual races to all states. Malcolm passed second, while Constantine placed fourth in their respective events. The 55-meter dash and the 55-meter hurdles, which eventually advanced them to all New England competition. The New Englands were held February 28th, once again at the Reggie Lewis Center. Malcolm took sixth overall, while Constantine placed fourth and broke her own school record. Numerous school records were broken this season in individual and relay events. The Nasa girls once again proved themselves to be, a, to be a formidable force on the track. That's it for this episode of Nasa Sports Rundown. For exclusive behind the, the scenes content, follow us on Twitter at Nasa Sports TV. Signing off, I'm Kellen Warren. And I'm Matt Fisher. We'll see you next time.